next up we have Cameron Lowe. The second leading cause of death is lung cancer, and the main cause of this disease is smoking. In fact, approximately 90% of lung cancer is caused by smoking, which shows how lung cancer is such a close and relatable factor to smoking. Smoking is the action which leaders into the habit of inhaling and exhaling the smoke of tobacco from cigarettes, cigars, and pipes. For a moment, I'm going to put myself in the perspective of a teenager who is in maybe high school or college. As a teen who is around people that smoke, I know to never accept a cigarette or anything that will put me in danger of lung cancer. The reasons why a teen will accept a cigarette, I honestly have no idea. The most common reason will be because of number one, peer pressure. When teens are around their friends and even adults that smoke, they are longing to be accepted into a group, and so they start their smoking habit. They also want to act cool and to impress their friends, which is why they also start to smoke. Next is independence, which also ties into defiance. Teens want to feel independent and make their own choices, so they start to smoke, to also show their opposition to the people that say they can't smoke. Many, many people say that they will just try one cigarette and say that they will never get addicted. They just try one, and after that one cigarette, they get addicted just like that. This is their curiosity. The addiction grows on them, and they start to lose their consciousness. Before you know it, they are addicted just like that. And in this case, curiosity kills the cat. Inside the cigarette are approximately 600 ingredients that when burned, create 7,000 plus chemicals. Of these 7,000 chemicals, 63% of them are toxic. That's crazy to think that 4,400 chemicals inside of a cigarette are toxic. Some ingredients that might sound familiar to you are tar, nicotine, arsenic, lead, and carbon monoxide, which are all highly deadly and toxic, toxic if inhaled. Imagine yourself for a second. Close your eyes and imagine yourself holding a cigarette, a cigar, a vape, or anything that will put you in danger of lung cancer. Imagine yourself inhaling 4,400 toxic chemicals for seven minutes straight every single day. Now that I put that idea in your head, that should convince you to never ever smoke. As a bystander to a person that smokes, especially towards someone that you're close to, you should take responsibility and say stop. Why say stop? People around you don't understand the feelings of what lung cancer does to you and to your family member until it actually happens. So if you know a loved one that smokes, tell them to stop immediately before it elevates lung cancer or even worse. My grandfather was a smoker when he was younger and he stopped after. He was diagnosed with lung cancer at the age of 78 and soon passed away at the age of 79. That year was extremely stressful as we had to travel all the way to Las Vegas to visit him in the hospital. The year that he had lung cancer was not just sad, just, not just ha harmful for him, but for us to watch him suffering through that experience. He was in so much pain, and I never really thought of how painful it would be to watch someone go through lung cancer. Um, yeah. Our family, especially my poor grandmother, would never be the same. Since for me, it was the first family member that had passed away. And it greatly affected me. However, I'm not here to talk about my just my previous stories, but to raise awareness and to help. If, that does, if my story doesn't convince you of stopping smoking, it doesn't convince you of telling someone else to stop, think that for every cigarette that is smoked, it means that seven minutes of life is wasted. On average, a smoker smokes about 10 cigarettes a day. From this statistics, it shows that a lot of smokers smokes 10 or less cigarettes per day, that meaning that 70, min 70 minutes of life is wasted just from smoking for one day, and a heavy smoker smokes approximately 19.4, which we can round to 20. That means 140 minutes of life is wasted just from that day. Well, lastly, think of how much money is wasted on something that is so useless and something that can only bring you negativity in your life. More about lung cancer. This deadly disease is the number one, I repeat, number one leading preventable cause of death. As people say that lung cancer is kind of hard to prevent, think that for 90% of lung cancer is caused by smoking, and you can choose between smoking or not, which means that 90% can be controlled. Lung cancer
cancer is a nasty cancer that I tell you, nobody wants to experience. If you smoke and get lung cancer, it can literally turn your lungs black as this left lung is permanently damaged. This is an extremely scary and horrible way to look at the effects and the results of lung cancer. Once again, so many bad things that lung cancer and smoking can do to you, so if you know someone that smokes, tell them to stop immediately. Lung cancer greatly affects your breathing. Before lung cancer, your lungs are basically in an open space, and what lung cancer does to you, it makes it feel as if a huge mass is covering your lungs. And as you can imagine, it makes it extremely hard to breathe and causes a lot of pain to your inner body. More about smoking. Smoking is, first of all, disgusting. It makes your teeth turn yellow, it makes your clothes grease as smoke, it makes your face greasy, and it makes your face appear to be aging quicker. Smoking affects all the following factors of your body. Your stomach, brain, heart, lungs, bone, throat, and all of the other internal organs. Your blood vessels can be weakened, causing you to increase your risk or chance of a stroke. If you don't know what a stroke is, it is when the flow of blood in the blood vessels stop, and this can cause you to become unconscious, unconscious and can even cause you to die. If you don't, oh yeah, if your heart, it affects your heart by risking heart disease and all of these other physical features that I mentioned before can be affected in a harmful way. Smoking really increases your chance of not just getting lung cancer, but all the other diseases that come along with it. Not just your inner body is affected, your outer profile is also affected too. First of all, you get bags under your eyes, which makes you appear tired all the time, and your perfectly white teeth will suddenly become not so perfect and turn yellow due to the tobacco inside of the cigarette. Another fairly new way of smoking compared to a regular cigarette is an e-cigarette or a vape. How these devices work are that they are battery powered and they heat a liquid. Inside this liquid is a combination of nicotine mixed with any other chemicals that you choose to put inside. These smoking devices are definitely not as harmful as a regular cigarette, yet they can still cause many side effects such as nausea, sore throat, headaches, dry mouth, muscle pains, cramps, and a lot more. There are absolutely no benefits of smoking using an electric cigarette or vaping, so don't do it in the first place, which is extremely simple advice. Last matter I want to cover is soaking hand smoke. Secondhand smoke is a huge problem, and what secondhand smoke is, is the smoke exhaled from a cigarette that goes into a non-smoker's lungs. Secondhand smoke can actually have the same effects as a regular cigarette who inhales the smoke of a cigarette. Secondhand smoke is extremely hard to avoid because it's all in the atmosphere, and for all we know right now, we could be inhaling it right now. If you smoke constantly, like meaning every day, there are some addiction networks, websites, and videos trying to help you get back on track to your normal activity. Because as they say, it's never too late to stop. Once again, smoking is an extremely bad action to do because of all the negative effects. There are absolutely no benefits. Remember, if you know somebody that smokes, tell them to stop immediately before it elevates to lung cancer or even worse. Pain for one affects a hundred. And remember, the steps of smoking starts with you. My name is Tamara, and thank you.